Hey, what's up? It's Randy. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering the Epos B20 streaming microphone. Now I am really excited about this microphone because this actually comes from Sennheiser. So Sennheiser and a company called DeMont collaborated and made Epos, which they've been making gaming headsets for a little while. This, however, is their first venture into streaming microphones. I have pretty high expectations from this. Anyone who knows Sennheiser knows they are like a top five, probably audio brands of all time. Now first, let's check about the price. So this comes in at $149, which puts it in line with the Elgato Wave 3 or the Blue Yeti Pro, both of which are pretty awesome microphones. So I'm hoping that this brings something new to the table at that price point or is going to blow the quality out of the water. Now, because on this channel, we want to get you the sound tests as soon as possible. You've actually been listening to this microphone throughout this intro, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it shows up in the packaging. So I will say Epos nailed the packaging. It shows up in this beautiful hard box. If we pull this out, you can see we have this beautiful microphone. Really love the sleek look of this. It's got nice aluminum sides, beveled edges. It's a really sleek look to it. The stand here mounts from the left side which is kind of different than other microphones that I've used before which have the mount on the back and this is a side address microphone meaning you speak into the side not into the top of it now looking at the front face of the microphone we have an LED indicator this will show us when the microphone has been powered on we have a mute button when you press this mute button in the LED will turn red next we have a volume knob down below that and I will say one of my only gripes about this knob is that there's no start and stop to it so it's like a digital knob you continuously turn it to the right and it'll continue to go up and it's actually controlling the volume of your PC. So just keep in mind, this is not boosting the volume from the microphone. It's actually controlling your PC volume. And on the back side, we have a gain knob. And next, which is really cool for them to include in a device at this price point is a polar pattern selector. So this will let us go from cardioid to bi-directional or figure eight to omnidirectional and to stereo. All right, this first mode here that I'm in is bi-directional mode, and this is picking up both sides of the capsule. Now you can notice there's a little bit of humming happening, and I think that's from a drive that I have sitting over here. Let me lift it up. Yeah, it is. Do you hear that? I'm not sure if that's translating through the mix, but that is something to note about having a microphone that sits on a desk like this is, any sort of bumping, you're gonna get sounds like that. Next, we have cardioid mode, and this is gonna be best for spoken word, where you're trying to reject other sounds from inside of your room. This is gonna be really good for people with noisy fans in their computers, uh, noisy keyboards, we'll test that in just a minute. And you wanna get as close when you're in cardioid mode as possible. It's really gonna give you the best, richest sound. Next, we have omnidirectional, and you can hear there's a lot more room being picked up. That means it's picking up from all sides of the microphone evenly. So this is really good if you're recording maybe a, uh, a meeting or something like that you plop the microphone in the center of the room you're good to go and last but not least is a stereo mode we have the epos word mark on the side of the microphone as well as the epos logo on the top of the microphone and we have a 365 degree articulating arm which is really great because you can get this microphone right in front of you and tilt it up at an appropriate angle something that Mics like this, the Razer Siren can't do. This is actually as far as this mic can lean. Next, in this box, we have a USB-A to USB Type-C cable, and it's actually quite a long cable. And on the bottom of the mic, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, as well as the USB-C for powering. And last but not least, in this box, we have a bolt and an aluminum base plate. This base plate just sticks onto the articulating arm and you use the bolt to fasten it together. This microphone will sound a lot better on a boom arm, and we'll get to that in just a second as well. Next up, and this is something kind of unique to the EPOS microphone, is that it has the EPOS Gaming Suite software that comes with it. Now, unfortunately, this does not run on Mac computers. It does run on PC. So let's move this over to my gaming setup and I'll show you how it works. Okay. Are we good? I think we're good. Oh my God. Okay. Let me turn this down. Check, 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 check. Okay. So I think we've got this figured out here. So a couple things just happened. So I'm not sure what actually got recorded. So I'm just going to go through this again. When I plugged in the microphone, I couldn't actually open the EPOS software and I figured out that you need to actually control alt delete, go into your task manager and remove these or end task on these EPOS things. There's usually two of them here. Um, 
end all those tasks and then try to open up the software again and then it should work. Once you're in it, it's not gonna see your microphone until you go into your sound settings and select the EPOS B20 as your default device. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this software here. So we have our playback and we have our microphone settings. So let's go into the playback settings. This is just what you're going to hear in your headphones if you have your headphones plugged in to the microphone. None of this stuff is powered by the microphone. This is all CPU driven. So just keep in mind, you're gonna be riding your CPU a little bit harder if you're running this software. It's not very taxing, but you have presets up at the top right here and you can of course make new presets if you'd like. Pretty basic if you wanna change EQ settings for a specific game that you're using or something like that, you can always go in here and change what you're hearing in your headphones. Jump over to the microphone settings and this is where we can actually change the settings of our microphone. What's kind of cool is they provide us with this real-time analyzer so you can see where your voice sits. Um, it's really laggy. Hello? Hello? Okay, so yeah, it's super laggy. There's um, not that useful. Again, this software has been a little bit buggy for me. So we've got a high pass filter, which is gonna cut off some of this low end here. Next up, we have some voice enhancer options. We've got this, we have a warm voice. Check, 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 check. We have clear voice. Check, 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 hey, 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 clear voice. And we have custom and you can do any sort of thing. Let's put it on warm because I think that actually sounds nice. Then we have our gain, so we can change the gain. Low, 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 hi, 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 hi. This is actually kind of nice to be able to change this with a digital thing because with a knob, it's really um, not specific. Side tone, this is how much of your actual sound I believe is coming back through your headphones, I think. And noise gate, is actually defaulted to on. That's interesting. I had it on flat. Um, let's take a listen. So here's with it at 50%. Check hey hey. This is with the noise gate at 50%. And this is with the noise gate at 100%. Check check check. Okay. So we probably don't want that noise gate very high. And we have noise cancellation, uh, which I imagine is using an automated filter. Let's try this. This is with 100% of noise cancellation. This is with me typing on my keyboard. Check, check, check. Hey, 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 hey. You'll have to let me know what you think. Um, personally speaking, I don't really think that this app has any value to me at all. I get what they're trying to do and it's kind of cool. I can see the playback options being a little bit cool if you guys want to tweak things for specific games. That might be useful if you want to hear footsteps in Warzone or something like that. Maybe finding out where those sit in the frequency spectrum, giving them a little boost. You're not cheating, right? Other than that, I don't really see much of a value for this. So let's head back. Okay, so let's do some more sounds tests. So I wanna show you how this microphone sounds here with a couple different keyboards. This is me sitting, let me move this here. Oh, so you can see how much handling noise I get with that. This is me sitting, I'm about, uh, I don't know, 12, maybe about 12 inches away. This is with a standard Apple computer keyboard and I'm in uh, cardioid, cardioid mode on the microphone. Type, type, type. Let's go ahead and sub out the Apple keyboard for a Razer Huntsman keyboard. Um, this is what I use my gaming desk and you get an idea here. It's quite loud. Uh, check, 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 check. So let's try a different setup here with moving the keyboard in behind the microphone. This is probably gonna give you the best projection. So let's test this out. Hey, hey, check, 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 check. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my stream. We're having such a great time here. Let's get this on a tripod so we can hear the difference. Okay, so I've got this mounted to a boom arm now and this boom arm is clipped onto the side of the desk. And I will say that uh, it's not making a huge amount of difference. I would think getting it on a tripod that's not attached to your desk is really gonna give you the best results. Of course, that's not always an option. Another thing you can do is get a little piece of foam like this. It's just a little um, sponge foam core type thing. Put that underneath the microphone. That should also help a little bit. It's all about decoupling those vibrations and getting them off your desk. But as you can tell, like I bumped that with my elbow you can still hear that coming through the microphone. Okay, one last thing that I wanna share with you about a microphone like this is getting this as close to your mouth as possible is gonna give you a lot better sound. Like you can already tell, as I get this close, the signal to noise ratio, and by that I mean signal is my voice, noise is everything else. That ratio improves. We get more voice and less noise the closer that I get. And I can actually turn down the gain now. Check, 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 check. Turn it down a little bit and get a nice present vocal sound. The thing you're gonna to wanna to watch out for is Plosives. So if I turn into this microphone, puh, 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 do you hear that popping sound? But I will say a foam pop filter on this would have sold this to me because then you can get nice and close like this. Check, check, check. Hey, hey. Check, check, check. You can get nice and close like this and not have to worry about popping, popping. All right. So what are my final thoughts about this microphone? 
I will say that I came in here with pretty high expectations. As I mentioned, this is a Sennheiser brand. I expect either A, the quality is gonna be absolutely outstanding, or B, they're gonna bring some sort of feature set to this microphone that steps it up above their competition because they're late to the game. The Blue Yeti's been out forever. The Blue Yeti Pro has been out for a few years now. Um, the Elgato Wave 3 is at the exact same price point and it comes with a ton of cool software that you can use. I don't think that the EPOS Gaming Suite software is of any value to a lot of people. Style-wise, the mic is a 10 out of 10. I think it looks amazing. It looks awesome on a desk. It's nice and clean. It's The stand feels like good quality. The microphone quality itself, you know, maybe a six out of 10. It's not great. Um, you guys can be the judge with how it sounds. I think it sounds pretty good as far as a desktop streaming microphone goes. Would I recommend it? I don't know. It's up to you. That's up to you. So yeah, overall, pretty pleased. Sennheiser, I would have thought that your first entry into this price point, you would have done something really cool. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. Cool. Well, that's it.